Hi friends, Ayari here with Third Eye Ayari. We're going to start today with Sacred Forest. Moonlight enchantment magic that's beautiful there's a bear like howling I don't know if, if, if that's the correct term um, for bears <laughs> at the moonlight the beautiful gorgeous humongous um, moon um, there's number 25. Partnership, change, uh, spirit with the seven. Partnership, transformation, struggle, transformation, and um, intuition, spirituality. So there's something not quite seen. There's something that may be uh, hidden, but it's starting to show because we see some, right? So we know some. We may suspect something, but there's other parts that are pretty hidden by the shade. We'll see where that goes. And this is the cosmic journey. No, this is, yeah, the cosmic journey. I have so many cards that it's hard to keep them straight. So many decks. And I have more coming. Oh, I forgot the little deck. Oh, well. I wasn't called to take it, so... I just like it. And this is, you will only see the way by making the way. So this is very interesting. Um, so we, I just said that there's some things that we know, there's some things that we see, but there's some things hidden. I just said that. And then this one comes out saying you will only see the way by making the way. So yes, there's something hidden. There's something that we don't know. And, and that's not necessarily that somebody is hiding something from us. I mean, it could be, we'll see, but it could, uh, it could also mean that we haven't learned yet. It's not our time to know. You know, sometimes um, the universe keep information from us because it's not the, our time to know it. It's not our time to know it. And this is card number 38. Um, here we were talking about uh, a partnership. So the three, you know, is either the collective or it's either that third party not another person but the third energy uh, body of energy that we create when two people or two things come together this there's a third energy that comes that that is created um and the eight is strength is eight is also the ego eight is also the ego um and then eleven oh master number okay um so we'll see this is um keepers of the light
Therapies Bay, Ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here again. Talking about light and darkness. So as you, as is, is exactly what I was saying, as you ascend, as you um, learn more, as you are more open to spirit, uh, as your ascension process uh, progresses, uh, you are going to know more, okay? As you move more into your true self, then you will learn more what was in the dark before. Beautiful. I love how it just comes together so easily. Uh, and this is um, Archangel Michael, Sword of Light Oracle. <laughs> and Michael is here and he wants me to acknowledge him that he's here he's always with me he's my buddy he's my protector okay number seven and we had a number seven here the two and the five change is coming i'm here to guide you through exciting transformation we said that transformation um this is a time of joyous uh, opportunities and we have we see all those butterflies which is transformation so yeah so there's something that's going to be revealed in time as you grow as you ascend and then change is gonna come beautiful change is gonna come wow okay so let's see what tarot has to say and this is the good tarot Okay. Okay. Oh no. Let me get this mic out of the way. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro, cinco. Let me take a peek at what you can see. I might move this up a little bit. Yes. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on just a minute. I don't know if that's better, but I try to widen the view a little bit. Um, okay. So we have... Oh, the world, eight of air, the sun, six of earth, three of earth. Okay. So uh, this change that he's talking about is coming. It's not quite here yet, but it's coming because it came in the reverse. So there's some endings. There's some things that need to end. And when there is change, there's something that end. it ends the way that you were before to start this new beginning. So now, so we'll see what we're talking about here. We have the eight of air. The eight of air is the eight of swords. And is speaking about, but it was in the reverse. Yeah, so there's 
yeah, there's still some work to do. There's still some work to do before the light shines in the entire scene so you can see what's going on. And I think that you just need to, they're not giving me a lot of details right now, but we're going to clarify. Um, and, and, you know, it's, it's, it's coming because it's showing that it's here. This change is just not here, right? This second. And then you are going to fit right into it. You're going to be successful. You're going to, I mean, this is great manifestation. Let's clarify because I want to know so I can speak more clearly as to what are we talking about. Move the energies. Real good. Why um, the world in reverse? Mm. So because we want to leave the past in the past, because we want to end something from the past, the past may be coming back but we want some change and because we want to get things, get um, manifestations that uh, we've been planting the seed and trying to get, but we, there's, there's a chapter from our past that we need to close in order for this to come. Okay. Um, Somebody also from the past may, um, and it, this not, it's not necessarily, um, uh, a romantic, um, you know, relationship. Um, but somebody from our past is, is going to give us a gift. It's going to give us a gift. It's going, it's bringing us something and that something is going to help us turn this car around remember this card um is a is a manifestation card it it came in the reverse so it's, it's again it's not here yet but i think this person is bringing something that is going to give us some clarity about what is what we need to do to anchor this change that we're talking about and there's a lot of um spirituality here i think this is this is a path um a spiritual path or i mean you can put it in in your own um you know put it as it fits for you if you are trying for example to ascend in a position at work or open a new business or something like that and you as you learn as you grow into that position or into that business uh, you're gonna have much more clarity okay and and then that change is gonna come so this person may be somebody that has knowledge about that position has knowledge about that uh, business and it's gonna help you turn this around. You planted all the seeds. It's just, not, you're not seeing the fruits of your labor yet because the change hasn't happened quite yet. It's, it's in the works. It's happening, but it hasn't happened quite yet. Okay. Beautiful. Now, why the eight of air in reverse? So, you know, 
you are not feeling quite in your power yet. So there's still some learning for you to do. There's still some learning for you to do uh, for you to feel more empowered to do whatever is what you want to do, okay? There's a lot of overthinking. There's a lot of maybe I can, maybe I cannot do this. If it's your ascension, maybe... Um, you know, you feel like you have gone to a point and you want to, to, you know, to grow spiritually more, but you feel kind of stuck. And maybe this person from the past is going to help you, uh, you know, uh, manage those roadblocks. Maybe uh, there's a position that you want at work, but you don't feel quite ready. You don't feel quite, quite empowered to do it. Um, just yet. Yeah. But then comes the sun. So why the sun? I hate that I can't see what you can see. The, the phone is way too far off for me to see it. See, uh, <clears throat> when this new beginning finally comes, you are going to see the fruits of your labor. And, and this, this may be very well about work. Um, and it's going to be a wonderful new beginning. It truly is going to be a wonderful new beginning. And you're going to feel successful. You're going to feel... Uh, you're, maybe you're going to be financially successful in this position. I mean, the work, the, the sun card is one of the best, uh, cards in tarot. So karmically is it, it's looking really positively for you. So when this change finally comes, um, and you're able to say, well, you know, not everybody uh, probably nobody, <laughs> when they go into something new, they know everything, right? They may know some things. And if you are even, um, being, uh, thought about for this position, that means that you do know some things, right? Or if you are willing to open up a business in something, you, you probably know a whole lot about that thing, right? So it's just a matter of, taking the dive, um, taking the chance and going ahead because you are going to be very successful as you finally decide to go ahead and take the plunge. Why the six of earth? The six of earth is the six of coins. is the six of pentacles yeah so you know you are planning you're planning and planning and planning when you decide to stop planning this is gonna come very quickly there's a lot of um there's a lot of wants here so this is something that is uh that you're passionate about this is something that's important to you and it's gonna come really quickly uh, as soon as you decide to stop planning and just start moving, but you are starting to feel more comfortable getting out of your comfort zone. You're still not quite there yet. You're in, in that, uh, you know, kind of gray area. Um, okay. I think I'm going to, and then you give up a couple of steps, but then you stop and you think some more, hmm, should I go? Should I not go? But as soon as you do, things are going to move very, very quickly. Okay. And you're going to see, and you, you're going to feel, um, very comfortable in, um, money wise. You're going to feel very comfortable. You're going to feel very grounded. You're going to feel in place. You're going to feel like you found your place. 
whatever that is. If it's ascension, if it's spirituality, if it's a new job, if it's a, a new position at your job, if it's a new business, you're going to feel at home. You just need to know that as scary as it may be at a point, you know, everybody is the new kid at school. Everybody is the new person at work. Everybody is the, the everybody has a new day. Okay. It has a first day. So just go ahead because that day is just one. And then you're going to have a second one. And on the second one, you're going to have more experience than on that first day. Okay. So just go ahead. Just put one foot in front of the other baby steps. And all of a sudden you're going to look back and, oh, look at that. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Um, watch this until the end. Um, because I have a little announcement that you all are going to like. Okay. And if you're enjoying this so far, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. If you're new around here and if you need, um, help with your own, um, details about your specific situation, go ahead and schedule some time with me. I'll be happy, happy to. Ooh, yeah. So we need to leave. We really need, um, this is the three of coins. The three of earth is the three of pentacles. Um, so you may be feeling a little isolated and that's kind of toxic. Yeah. Cause the three of earth, the three of earth right side up is a good teamwork. So you may feel a little, um, a little alone <laughs> right now and that is toxic and that might be where the fear is coming from and you may feel kind of stuck wherever you're at or feel that you know I'm making good money at this job why should I leave it maybe that's more money but maybe what maybe I don't like it maybe I won't be good at it maybe no you know you need to leave the fear behind and have more trust in yourself. You need to think about things in a different way, more positively and looking at the future. Right now you're overthinking things and looking at the past. So you need to change the way you think about things because it's kind of toxic the way you're thinking about that. So, you know, that's, um, that's what spirit is telling us to do, right? Um, to change the way we think because that way is keeping us stuck and it's uh, toxic. So let's change the way we think about things and decide you have obviously the skills. Uh, the sun is telling us that you are going to be successful. The, eight, the seven of uh, pentacles is telling us that we are going to be financially successful. So we just need to change the way we think about things. Okay. And this looks a lot like work, but it could be also, um, you know, spirituality. It's, it sounded very spiritual here on the top, but it still could be spiritual. You can change it to fit your, uh, situation. It's going to be different for everybody. This is wonderful. So, uh, third Ayari is turning one year old. I am so excited. We turn one on um, April 4th, April 4th, 4, 4. And I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> that just kind of happened. So uh, uh, go to my, uh, you can go to my website or you can email me your, uh, what is your biggest takeaway from, uh, from, from my readings? What have you learned from the readings, from listening to me? What would you like to learn? Uh, or what is the, um, what is the service on my website that interests you the most? So send me an email with any of those 
and from here i'm gonna collect uh all those all those names from here i don't want you to put you can put it in the in the comments if you want to but i don't want everybody to have your um your um your email so put put a put some comment that you're gonna send me an email and um I'm gonna collect the emails from here until April 4th. And on El A April 4th, I'm gonna say who the winner is. And um, we're gonna have, um, you're, gonna, you're gonna win a free um, private reading with me, okay? And I may throw in some more gifts here and there. Uh, so we may have two or three maybe four or five winners, um, depending on how many people send emails, okay? Because if it's a lot of you, um, I want to give a lot of uh, gifts out. So throw me a com put in a comment and throw me, um, uh, give me an email, send me an email saying one of those things um, and we'll have a winner on April 4th, all right? Um, so I hope you enjoy this reading. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And uh, send me an email so you can win. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.